Hey everybody, welcome to RimWorld. RimWorld is a kind of like a simulation strategy game is I guess the best way of putting it. It's in early access, it's being produced by Ludian Studios, but the best thing that I can honestly say about RimWorld is the fact that despite it being in early access, they could take it out right now, never update the game for the rest of uh, the eternity of life, and it would still be a overwhelmingly positive uh, reviewed game on Steam. So we're going to hop right in. We're going to make a new colony. I've played a little bit to the point where I know what I'm doing, uh, at least a little bit. So we're going to do Crash Landed. We're going to have three people. That's fine. Uh, we're going to do Cathan Cassandra Classic, just because it's our first uh, run through. And then I kind of want to do the game on Rough, but we'll do it on some challenge. I think rough is what you're supposed to play on, though. I don't know. We'll start with some challenge. We'll see if we can uh, get stuff good here. We'll randomize the seed. Three, two, one. Deficient. There we go. That's good. Uh, and we'll just keep everything normal and we'll generate our world here. So you're going to see real quick uh, what's going on. The game actually just updated uh, about two weeks ago. Maybe a little bit less than that. Uh, and you now have a whole circular world here that you can see a lot of now i only set the thing to generate 30 percent because you know we're gonna pick something in this area i'm not too picky here but it's still cool you can kind of generate an entire world worth of stuff and make a really cool area so i'm kind of feeling like somewhere on the coast would be really good somewhere like right over here I don't really care for 30 days of uh, growing. I'd rather have a little bit more. Well, let's go down a little bit. What's this right here? That's a faction. Okay, oh, right right here looks really good if I'm being honest. Temperate forest, 40 days. Yeah, I mean, this, this basically seems exactly... We could go mountainous as well. We'll go to the one right next to mountainous. This gives us this whole area as well. I think this is a good idea. It gives us a faction nearby if we wanted to go there to trade or anything. I think this is good. Let's just go. I'm going to tell you now. I don't know how to play RimWorld. We're going to fail miserably, I'm sure. Uh, but that's all part of the fun of it. So we got to pick our people. This chick having a psychite addiction seems like a bad thing. So I'm going to uh, not do that. I don't want anybody that's really incapable of doing anything. And her being incapable of cooking is just kind of like... Why? So let's restart that. Uh, this woman seems pretty okay. Good medicine. Good crafting. Good growing. No shooting whatsoever, but she's a melee person. You know what? Let's go with it. This is going to be... Uh, my beautiful girlfriend we'll name her anna since that's her name uh and then we'll just make her real name my girlfriend because really the only thing that shows up is anna uh so that is perfectly okay so now we got takiki Ta taiki we're not going to continue to name him taiki uh he doesn't have enough stuff plus he's incapable of a lot of different stuff uh, i don't care for that uh incapable of intellectual and scary He's got good stats in other areas. He's got good stats in a lot of stuff, to be honest with you. Is this guy worth it? He's got asthma. Eh, I, I'd rather not. This seems like incapable of firefighting. I mean, that's pretty bad. He's got a lot of zeros. I, I want to... Okay, we were definitely not taking... We need people that can fight. Okay, now this this is an interesting one. I think we're going to roll with this one. His daughter is Anna. So, you know what? So that we don't make things weird and make Anna my daughter. Ryan, you now have a... Uh, you now have a beautiful <laughs> daughter. <laughs> okay, so this will be uh, Star and then Rye. Okay. He's a human computer. There you go. He's a good shooter, good grower good researcher he can do pretty much everything else why not we'll, we'll roll with it and then we got tail fairwing i don't really care for that 
N no shooting is bad. Okay, here we go. This, this is this is okay. Incapable of intellectual. Do we have another that's in no? Okay, so this could be fine. Growing shooting. Zero on construction. I don't care for. I want like somebody that's a good shooter. I mean, good med ex-wife and incapable of firefighting. It's just not okay. Um, incapable of social and animals. No, 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 no. Okay, here we no incapable of growing. No, no, no. Stop. Okay, we need somebody that's halfway decent. I think taking time to do this is valuable. Here we go. Incapable of firefighting. Why are all these people incapable of firefighting? Is it okay to have one person incapable of firefighting? This guy's good at a lot of different stuff. You know what? Let's do it. This is going to be myself. Uh, we will go Tyler, Alexa, and Kid. Okay. It's beautiful. Who knows whether or not that's good. We'll see shortly. I may have to adjust the UI uh, of the game. It's it, RimWorld acts funky with recording and with my computer since I have a very high-res monitor. Uh, yeah, okay. This definitely seems to be a little bit UI is on the not-so-great side. Let, let's pause the game here. Options. Bring this bad boy down. This looks much better. Okay. So we start off. We're on this planet. Here's our landing pods. They're going to have all of us in it. And what a time to be alive. Uh, and they're just going to be wandering around aimlessly doing nothing. We're going to pause for a while here just because we want to uh, figure out everything. So let's look at the stats. He's obviously our best shooter. Myself, that is. So where's the survival rifle? You equip that. Anna is our best melee. She's going to take our knife. And then, you know, Ryan still has six shooting. That's good enough for me. You're going to equip the pistol. That's a good start. Now we have a lot of uh, resources just chilling. And do we have... Oh, there's like an actual built base down here. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we have some good stuff. The coast is to the top. I'm almost debating whether we should go build our base closer to the coast. But I don't know. That seems kind of... That seems dumb. Let's not do that. Okay, let's make sure we have all of this... Oh, I don't want the people, though. Okay, just the wood. Make this uh, not forbidden so that we can actually pick all this crap up. Beautiful. Uh, and then also highlight these. Unforbid those. I like these, this, this, this. Okay. So doing that, we're just able to get these people to pick this stuff up. And then we're just going to go assign a stockpile zone. And we'll make it just like right here. And they'll dump all that crap into that spot. And that will be a-okay. Uh, these are just chunks that we can uh, haul. Or do we have to actually mine those? No, we, we can we can just haul those. That's fine by me because I want to build our first little uh, base here. So with RimWorld, there's a lot of different things that you have to pay attention to. And this is a little small. Let, let, let's extend this just a little bit. Where is our stockpile? I think I see it like up there. So do this. That seems like a decent size. And then we'll just throw a door right there. And that's good. Okay, so let's unpause. Everybody's gonna go grab their knives and stuff. Did I just build on a geyser? Okay, yep, that's not gonna work. <laughs> well, let, let's uh, let's not do that. And then let's let's build over here instead. We'll have the stockpile be just outside the house. Why do you not want to uh, build, my friend? You, you don't you don't really want to build uh, like that. That's fine. Okay, let, let's. This is good enough. That's enough to fit some beds in there. Have a happy-go-lucky time. Let's look at our stockpile. Is it here? Yeah, okay. So let's just extend that. Let's make that equal. We might as well. Ryan's moving stuff. Okay, this is good. Let's assign some orders for people to chop a bunch of trees. The more wood we have at the beginning, the better off we're going to be. And we do have more wood just chilling up here that we can also get. Uh, so this is fine. The steam geyser, it definitely has my attention. I feel like that could be really bad in the future, but maybe not. Who knows? Let's just speed this up to, uh, speed three. 
let these guys go to town. And Anna's already putting in the work. Best builder on this side of the nut house, let me tell ya. Uh, this does need a door though. Let's chuck a door uh, right here. And then we'll put a, now you know what, let's not put another one. So I'm just thinking ahead for defenses, and that seems like a bad idea to have two doors into our house. <laughs> Man, it just seems like, uh, you know, raiders come in. Oh, let's lock up the first door. Oh, wait, there's a second one. Seems like a pretty bad idea. Uh, am I literally doing nothing? No, I'm harvesting a tree. That's good. We're going to get a roof on this place. A-OK -okay by me. Uh, let's assign people to chop... Okay, cut plants. No, must designate wood yielding sufficiently grown. I, I, I thought I had the plant cutter on there. Cut all those uh, and these if that's a thing. I don't know if it is. And then chop wood. Apparently those don't like it. Can we just cut those instead? Yeah, I guess so. Sounds good to me. Let's throw in a floor in here. We'll just stick with a wooden floor to start because uh, we have no other resources. We have silver, medicine, component, steel, wood, and uh, packaged survival meals. Okay. So this is good. I also forgot to mention, we have uh, Tico, who is a... Uh, Tico, come here. You are a female husky. So we got a little puppy. What, what a time to be alive. Happy to have him. He'll do some uh, stuff, I guess, for us. Maybe not. Ooh, who knows? Like I said, I haven't played a lot of this game. I've only played a little bit. And I'm excited to see where it takes us. Okay, so let, let's throw in a animal bed right there. And then let's also throw in some regular beds for us. And we'll just go like one, two, and three. So that these guys have some places to sleep at night. Uh, it seems like a pretty decent idea. So we'll set owner. We'll put Ana on the far end. We'll put myself uh, in the middle. And then we'll throw Ryan on the far end and that's good these guys uh, are going to complain to start that they don't have their own bed we can look at their needs uh i was rebuffed by anna that's a little uh that's a little offensive uh shared bedroom is annoying yep i understand that we're gonna make you some rooms eventually your mood's gonna be down to start but that's just life in a little pain hungry well, maybe you should eat some damn food you little you know what okay let's make a table in here this will at least give them a place to uh eat and hang out so we'll put those in there and uh i'm still cutting trees ryan's running all the way down here what are we what are we doing ryan is ryan not uh no he's a male he's just got pigtails okay that, <laughs> that's fine ryan you do you man whatever you uh want to do i am fine with Anna failed while constructing the wooden chair. God damn it, Anna. Nah, you're fine. Uh, haul that, please. Also haul that. Also haul that. It's gonna take a while for them to cut all these trees and do stuff. We're on speed three just so that we can get stuff going to start. But let's real quick, let me look at uh, what time I'm at. We got plenty of time still. Uh, I wanted to make these videos somewhere near uh, 20 minutes long just to keep with a uh, solid time length here's what i want to do i want to kind of connect our bedrooms to the main building so we're just gonna dig this uh, do do a two wide hallway two wide definitely looks better do that down and then we're gonna add in separate bedrooms like so so that's uh four wide let's do another four wide like so Extend this a little bit further. And it is possible to get more uh, colonists to arrive. So the way I think about it, we now have the ability to uh, do a little jig down here and add more rooms. Or just extend this hallway down or up or side to side, upside down and sideways. Hell do I know. Uh, whatever works is whatever works for me. That's good. We'll eventually move these beds. We'll make this the hospital eventually and just convert those to uh, hospital beds. But for right now, we're in a pretty decent spot. I'm pretty sure here. Learning helper. Forbidding doors. 
You can forbid doors so colonists and tame animals won't go through them. Okay. This isn't door lock. Enemies can't pass freely. Forbidding just directs your colonists not to use the door. Okay. Interesting. That's good to know. I'm not positive why we would ever need that, but I'll accept that. I wish there was a way to constantly show our stockpile zone. Is that a thing? That just shows that. That shows uh, the beauty of the room and stuff. Yeah, okay. Good enough. This is... Category... Okay, yep, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's, that's fine. Visibility of roofs. Colonist bar. I like that being seen. This is what I just turned on. Visibility of zones. You're telling me that that's supposed to tell me that there's a zone right there? I can't see that at all, my friend. Okay, that's fine. We can at least see that. Everybody's taking a quick snooze. Tico has his home. Or Tycho. Tico, Tycho. It's all the same when you really get right down to it. And it seems like we have a pretty happy uh, first day at camp. They've done a lot of stuff. I know this is actually the second day. But they've done a lot of really good stuff. Let's... Let's think about extending. We obviously don't want to build on the geyser. Let's make kind of a big production room right here. And I think this is going to be good. And then we'll just extend uh, rooms when we get more people down this way. Need defenses, need meal sources, one colonist is idle. I hope you're no longer idle, my friend. You got stuff to do. There's construction to be done. People to see places to go. Trees to chop. You better not be idle, my friend. Okay, this is fine. We can then add in a... Uh, I really don't like how this is now. But that's fine. We, we can work around that. We'll put in a door right there. And then we'll put in a door down here. And what we do want to add in is actually some torch lamps. So we will throw those, you know, one right there, one right there, one right there, and one right there. We'll make those all kind of symmetrical, and that will be okay. One colonist idle. What are you What are you doing, Ryan? You're just wandering? Can you not, uh... Are you incapable of construction? No? Please, please be capable of uh, construction, please. Let's go to work. Ryan is not on construction. Only Anna's on construction. Okay, we have two people with zero construction. That's pretty bad, if I'm being honest with you. Manual priorities. Let's, let's work through this. Uh, everybody has to be a one with firefighting. It's just not a question. Tyler's got 14 doctor skills. You're the number one doctor. Ani, you're number two. You're number three. Okay, we're going to go down to like speed two while I work on these. You know what? Everybody can flick. I don't know what <laughs> flicking means, but sure. I want everybody to rest immediately if they get hurt. That's fine. Uh, yep. Same with that. That's fine. Warden, who's got the best social? So I do as well. Okay. We'll just roll with that. Handle. I mean, Anna is definitely our number one handler. So we'll put her on that. Uh, and then we'll put me and Ryan both on threes. Cooking, zero, one, and four. Wow, that's uh, that's some stellar cooking there. We got a sloth in our base. That's good. We have visitors. A group from Tetheria Unification. They have a few items to trade. Okay, so they're going to come down. Let's not get scared as crap of them. Hunting, six, eleven. I'm good at everything. What have I done? Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. That's Anna. Never mind. Don't don't do that. Low food. I understand that. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe try to trade for some food. That seems like a decent idea. Okay. That that seems good enough for now. We should get a garden set up as well. And where do we want to do that? I think up here is better than nothing. So let's make a growing zone. Uh, just right next to our stockpile. We'll make it uh, eight by eight here. And then let's grow. You know, potatoes seem good enough for me. I don't know the specifics on whether or not that is good or not, or what plants even are good. I think you need cotton for uh, clothes. So maybe let's add another 
eight by eight growing zone. Let's make this one cotton. And we'll make our own plantation here. That seems like a freaking fantabla idea. Okay. Tony, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I know you're confused. Let's uh let's let's try to talk to Tony. Who's got our best social? It's probably me. Uh let's just look at character. Five social, seven social, ten social. It's definitely me. What am I doing right now? I am building a torch lamp. Okay, Tyler, when you're done, go over, talk to Tony. Let's trade with him and see what he has uh, to offer. We'll try and get some food, maybe some pemmican or something. Wow. Uh, okay. So, I, I truly, like, I don't understand how this thing works. Just give me some nutrient paste meals and I'll give you... I don't want to give you medicine if I'm being honest with you. I don't want to give you components either. You know what? You're very useless, uh, Tony. I'm sorry, but I just, I don't really want to deal with you. We're not going to shoot them. I think that'd be mean. There's no reason. If you guys want to come inside, you can spend the night. It's okay. Or you can wander outside. Low sleep is definitely good for trading is what I've heard. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the beginning of RimWorld, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Please, please, please uh, note that there's going to be a decent backlog on these videos to start as I'm going to be going away on vacation, as many of you may know. So if you give me advice and stuff like that, which I highly recommend you doing because I want to know how to play this game better, I probably won't be able to actually put it into action uh, for about two weeks. <laughs> so please uh, show your support, leave some comments telling me what to do, uh, just some advice, and I will read and respond to all of them. I just won't be able to put it into action anytime soon. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.